We're here at the IAF Fieldhouse. I'm Amari Tatum. I'm Caleb Brimson. And we're your course side commentators. Uh, at, for our final game today, it, today at the IAF Fieldhouse, the district will be celebrating late civil rights activist Martin Luther King Jr. with a basketball showcase. The tournament will host eight teams in the Kansas City Public Schools and eight out of the district. Uh, so this uh, tonight's matchup we have here tonight uh, Lincoln Prep versus AZ Prep. Always a great matchup. So now we're going down to get our starting lineups.
So, Caleb, seeing previous games, we normally see our sophomores starting. Uh, did, did you, I know you had a chance. Did you talk to Lincoln about did, did we have about starting lineups? Because normally yeah, yeah. doesn't. The sophomore all, normally start. He always starts. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, Lincoln is going to pretty much go with the same starting lineup they have until their great players become seniors and eventually gla- graduate, uh, which most of their starting lineup does consist of seniors, but those few players that are, uh, you know, sophomores already in the starting lineup, they're going to stay there for, for for the rest of their time in high school. So, Right. Okay, so way to start the game. We have Milan Collins missing the three, but we have David right, – we had uh, Keyshawn Oliver with the rebound, and AC Prep will take it down court. So, who do you got your money on, uh, Mari? <laughs> In my pocket. <laughs> we already know who won this game. Yeah, we'll go. We'll, I'm going to take that as we're going for Lincoln here. And the shot is uh, tossed out of bounds. It'll stay Lincoln possession. So, okay, I got a chance to talk to uh, Coach Collins of the uh, the AC Prep Knights. Uh, he used some of his uh, famous elements, his rebound, his defense, his push to breaks equals speed strategies. I, I heard you got a chance to talk to uh, Lincoln's coach. Yeah, uh, they said that going into this game, they've played AC Prep a while, uh, multiple times, and they said they're just going to go with the same strategy. They're going to play hard, and they're going to play together. Uh, and for them, they're going to set their te- tempo with how fast and aggressive their defensive plays. If they force a lot of turnovers, they're going to run a fast game. If, you know, they just cause defensive stops, they're going to, you know, be patient. Right. We also got a chance to talk to some of our the athletes on the floor tonight. Uh, the one has been injured, just uh, had a little injury, uh, Milan Collins, number 20. He uh, actually he's actually used to hang out with my cousin. So, you know, I actually got to see him in and off the court. But he said that he... he they haven't had a, a game all week, so you know he 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 he's appreciate this game being a good game. He um he he likes to play hard and just wants to win. I asked him how many points he planned on dropping tonight. He said at least twenty. He said that he does not. He said he will take a scholarship off of basketball. He said as a as senior he won't be making his decision until the end of best base ah baseball season. <laughs> So now we have Milan Collins himself coming court. He loses the ball, goes to AC Prep. They call jump. There we have Sterling on the ground there. I believe we interviewed him too uh, before the game. Yes, number 12. He said that a lot of people. Uh, he said that uh, would have been a lot of people here tonight. He said that it, I, when he said that, I, I asked him, I said, are, are, you, are you under pressure? You know, I, personally, me, you know, I performed a lot in my life, whether it be uh, political, et cetera, speeches, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you, Caleb. You know, I get the jitters every once in a while when I come in front of him. But he said, actually, tonight would have been a lot of people being MLK, and we having over 200 people here with us tonight, that he likes that. He, li- he said he'll put on a show for us. Uh, it's his, his work. And he said, I said, do you see a, a ace blowout? I'm not going to say what he said. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> well, the fact that you asked that question and the fact that you're not going to answer it, I will. He said yes. <laughs> so the shot does not count. There's a foul before it. Uh, and we'll have number 24, Steve Dully, at the line.
So, um, with three minutes out of the first quarter, we have the score is 4-0. Lincoln is up. So, Caleb, we've seen Ace play a lot. Uh, their first quarter game, uh, a lot of, their first quarter play is actually incredible, Caleb. You know, every game yeah, that they, they play, they always take off on the first quarter. What do you think can be slowing them down right now? Well, they just maybe didn't come out with as much energy. Their game came very late, like really late. Um, this is really, I think, the last game on our schedule. And I think it is. After this, we can go home. Yeah, I think so. Maybe they just have tired legs. Maybe they didn't get into the gym this morning. Uh, they did, haven't put up a shot since yesterday, maybe. And and I guess they're just a little bit tired, and they're not used to being on the court. And another score by Lincoln, putting pushing this lead to seven. And Malik drives the hole. He gets fouled. He'll go up for two. I mean, he'll go to the free line, free throw line for two. He can put up the first couple of points for his team. So here are the first two free throws of the night for AC Prep. First one's good, and he'll line up for the second now. We have a uh, substitution here. Corian Mitchell comes in for Devontae Cobb. And he goes two for two. Those are the first two points for AC Prep here. And now the score is two to seven. And the ball is fumbled, turnover. AC Prep has it. Now we have Oliver coming down the court. He goes crossover, head first into Dully. He gets double teamed, looking. Oh, and the ball goes out of bounds. And I believe it will stay AC Prep possession. Caleb, can you talk to me about some of the stats that that you just came across? Um, so we have um, AC Prep missing a lot of their shots, and honestly, and they also are putting up a lot of turnovers. And although Steve was looking for a call, saying he was pushed over, he uh, he loses it out of bounds, yeah. and it goes to AC Prep. Uh, great sportsmanship, I would like to say, as they just, you know, shake it off, help each other up, and go on to the next play. Mitchell takes a three. Ooh, or, Nate no, it Simmons. was a it was a really long two, but he gives him a little step back and, <laughs> and Wait, shoots it. Can you say that again? A really long two. <laughs> yes, his foot was on the line, so it only counts for two points. Oh, and Sterling takes his first shot on the night. He misses. Now we have AC Prep coming down. Oliver goes up. And they call travel. He moved before he got the ball, so he'll turn it over. So, and we have Collins hitting the shot there. And Mitchell comes in, and now they're passing around AC Prep looking. 
Ooh, Franklin pulls up, and no, the shot is off. Oh, it's stolen by John Carter. He goes, Euro step. Oh, oh. by Isaac Smith. He wasn't and ready for that, and the pass is stolen intercepted. Stolen by Nate Simmons. Talking about Nate, we actually had a chance to interview him as well. He is also a senior. Actually, everyone we talked to tonight was a senior, again, number 40. He said that he was ready to play. He said he was actually kind of anxious. He said that he would like a scholarship off a track. And he said, I said, how much, how many points do you think you'll put up tonight? He said he don't know. He's just here to play. So we see here that Lincoln is in the man-to-man -man defense. Uh, pressuring the ball, they get another steal. Turnover calls by Reeves. Reeves goes up, and he misses the shot, but he's fouled. So we will go to the line for two. With two minutes and twenty seconds left in the fourth quarter, I mean in the, <laughs> in the first quarter. And he misses the first. Reeves looking to make his second here. So driving to the cup is number five, Anton, and he makes a shot. That's good. Ooh, and an open three in his air ball by a sophomore. Yeah, but they grab the offensive board and they'll reset their possession here. Oh, and Colin is stolen it. by Franklin Thornton. No, oh, excuse me. Anton. Oh! Steve Dully goes up and swats it down. The most simplest play in the book, Caleb. Throwing it off somebody else. How so, did that make you feel? Uh, it would make me feel a little bit uh, d uh, annoyed, but <laughs> we'll go back to that block that we had there uh, that started that defensive pressure. As we can see here, Anton thought he had a layup. Steve Dooley went up and rejected it out. Speaking of Steve Dooley, he just knocked down a three from the outside. See, he can do it both. He plays good defense and great offense. So we have a foul called, and it will stay AC prep possession. Uh, we have uh, Lincoln Prep with possession. They're pushing it down the court. Dooley pulls up for three again. Step. That's two. Uh, that's two three pointers right here in this first quarter. So now we have. Uh, we have a little bit less than 15 seconds left in this quarter. They're going to opt to hold it here for the last shot. Five seconds left. 
Ton has it. He goes up. He gets it intercepted. And no shot is put up. And that's this is going to be our score for uh, the first quarter. 6-16. Six to 16. AC Prep is down by 10. So, uh, how do you feel about that first quarter here, Amari? Uh, I don't. It's not like AC Prep, you know. Normally, Prep would be killing. They they'd be on top at least for the first quarter. So, I don't know. I think as I'm looking at their stats here, you know, there's a lot of inside shots that were missed, and you know. The, the only points that I'm seeing are somewhat far away from the goal. So I think they should use that to their advantage. So, yeah. I think their strategy-wise, I think they need to re reconsider that. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Um, Man, I think that uh, AC Prep did have a lot of turnovers there early in that quarter. And a lot of missed shots, you know, not very like AC Prep. They usually have strong starts, and, uh, you know, hopefully this is not just a sign of things to come. You know, maybe they could push back and have an exciting game. And they call travel on Morel Bell. He moved before he actually started his dribble, so they'll pick him up on that. And number 21 goes up with the layup and misses. Bell grabs down the board, and it's thrown out of bounds, but it was tipped, so it will stay AC prep possession. So now we have AC Prep with possession. They're looking to score. John Carter hits, shoots the mid-range, but misses. And now they're pushing it down the court. We have Frazier going up. He hits the layup. That's great. And you see the crowd already standing up, expecting a, a dunk. It's kind of early in the game. You know, those those game legs are not there you yet. You said that about the, about the last game. And what happened? Second quarter, what they do? They was greedy. Yeah, but they didn't actually complete an alley-oop play until the fourth quarter. And Isaiah Mayo's shot is missed. And Frazier throws a no-look pass, but it's no good as it's stolen. David Wright comes down now. He looks, passes over to John Carter, misses the mid-range off of the backboard. And the alley-oop is thrown up, but cannot be completed. Everybody anticipating the play, even the defense there. So now we have Keyshawn Oliver and passes it over to Carter. AC Prep working the ball. And they find Cobb in the corner. He airballs the three, and now a uh, Lincoln Prep will go the other way. They find Sterling inside, and he makes a layup. Sterling Hargrove making his first two points of the game. I mean, his second two points of the game. AC Purple possession. And they isolate Keyshawn Oliver. He gets fouled going to the bucket.
So we have some technical free throws being shot here. Uh, I guess we had number 24, Frazier, picking up that technical free. I mean technical foul. And we have a timeout called. So, the score is 6 to 20 and uh Lincoln Prep is up by 14 already. Only pushing their lead even further as they had a lead of 10 coming into the second quarter. I think this is a blowout in the making. So AC Prep has the ball here, uh, coming back into the action after the timeout. And Bell drives to the cup and it gets blocked by Sterling Hargrove. And John Carter shoots the mid-range, and again he misses. John Carter not having one of his best nights here. So the score is still six to twenty. Oh, and Mitchell squares up for three, but misses. They get the offensive board. Cobb shoots the mid-range. That's off the front rim. So now we have another possession for AC Press. You see Keyshawn Collins, who produced us with a dunk last time. Oh, Ke Keyshawn Oliver, excuse me. And the putback is no good. Uh, after the fourth try, AC Prep finally gets fouled. They'll go to the free throw line. Shooter, shooter. 
So, uh, Lincoln Prep with possession. And Steve Dully hits another three. I believe that's three for Steve here tonight. Ziamari, what I did there, three for Steve. Mm. You're shaking your head like you weren't uh, uh, impressed. I mean, it was a really great thing. Oh, you said that on air? Yes, I did. Oh, dang. I'm proud. I think your rhyming skills are increased day by day. And they have Isaac Smith on the fast break. He's slamming it. He goes for the car Malone there. As you can we're, see, and we're working on queuing you guys up a replay. As you can see, there he goes for that throwback dunk. Um, Karl Malone, a very great legendary player, he went up similar to like that. Here we go. He put the hand behind his behind his back and showing off there. That's that flex. You know, as you can see. Um, LeBron James, Carl Malone both did that. Please stop. Dooley goes up. He ah, double clutches, a but soft it, looking for a call. Yeah, that will result in a turnover. So now it'll be Lincoln. I mean, AC Prep ball.
with 20 seconds left in the fourth in the second quarter, excuse me. So, here in the second period, we had a lot of scoring from Lincoln and not so much from AC Prep as they've only put up 3 points in this quarter. Blowout Monday? Uh, I be well, we've only had two blowouts here. Uh and 2 out of 11. That's not that's not pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. Or was it three? I think we had three. We had Washington, we had uh, this one, and what was the other blowout? Was it East? Uh, no, East was the buzzer beater game. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. You got... And that will be the end of the quarter. And we will now watch in for the halftime show.
And we're back after the half. Caleb, I know you had a chance to talk to Lincoln's coach. Caleb, what was going on? So I had a ch chat with uh, Lincoln's coach, and I asked him, you know, what do you do? Uh, you have a firm lead of the game. Uh, you know, do you kind of just, like, ease off the handle just – to kind of coast this game over and he said no we're gonna play the same game that we played in the beginning we're going to uh continue to play hard and play together so i mean he obviously he's not looking to uh take the foot off the gas pedal and we may see a 77 point game so we push the we push it huh we don't take our yeah, foot yeah, off yeah. we push it to the we push it to the, push uh, it to the limit yeah <laughs> Oh, and the steal by Isaac Smith. He's going up, I believe. Oh, yeah. Morel Bell with enough defensive pressure to disrupt that dunk. Keyshawn Oliver comes on the other end. A Euro step. He gets fouled on the way up. And Dully gets the offensive board up and in there. Oh, and the give and go. David Wright misses the layup off the glass. And now Lincoln will come down the other way. They trap Mylon Collins in the backcourt. He finds it to Steve. Steve looking. And now Sterling takes it up, and he lays it up. <laughs> the crowd a little bit disappointed looking one and that one in that board. And David Wright takes an off balance shot and it hits the rim, goes out. So Simmons finds Smith in there. He goes spin move, fader. It's good. Even with John Cotter in his face. So we have a substitute. David Wright comes out and Corian Mitchell comes in. They inbound it to Isaac Smith. They're looking around. A nice little step back from Collins. Strap on net as it comes down. And AZ Prep is down by 35. They have possession here. Keyshawn Oliver drives in, and he gets a hard contact, but no call. Now Collins comes down. He passes it off. Nate Simmons gathers and puts it up and in. Collins drives in, passes it over to Sterling. 
Sterling gets the layup up and in. Keyshawn Oliver hits the deck, and uh, nothing is caught there. Mitchell drives in, bumps somebody, gets a charge called. Isaac Smith with a uh -oh. chain. He couldn't gather it to slam in and he misses the shot. So now I see Prep with the ball to find John Carter inside, but the pass is tipped and it will result in a turnover. A foul is called. And it'll go against Daisy Prep. They say John Carter picks it up. He'll have three fouls now. He's in a little bit of foul trouble. Uh, two more, and he's out of the game. Oh, and Isaac Smith. Fakes Isaac Smith fakes out Jesus. the defender. Christ. And I believe they call a push on Malik there, and Isaac Smith will get an Amboy and one play. Uh, cushion was under the rim. Was a little bit. Yeah. Can we can we see that body in again one more time? Let's let's cue that up. Let's see that that body bag been zipped up. And that's a three point play there. So we had um, Isaac Smith hanging on the rim there a little bit and kind of getting uh, Malik on his way down. So now we'll get back to the action here. Lincoln is all everything but, I mean, Lincoln is pumped up. Uh, fans, players, yeah. I think, cheerleaders. I think now we, we're just here to see the dunks, you know. <laughs> it's been a long day. Everybody we're, just, we're here to everybody see the just wants plays. some excitement. Yeah, we're here to see the action plays. It's a long day, and this is going to be a, a long game. So we're just looking forward to the next play. So we have Collins with it. He's guarded closely by Thornton. <laughs> Collins sizes up Oliver, and the shot is off. And a little bit of tussle there. They called the jump ball. So now we have AC Prep with possession. They're down by 40. The biggest lead here today in all of our 11 games. And Malik goes up. No call, but he, AC Prep will retain possession. Oh, and 
Malik tries to rise up over a player, but he doesn't get the right grip upon the ball to get it in there. Close, but no. No, 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 no. No play there. And number 35 finishes the layup, pushing the lead up to 42. And Oliver puts up the shot. And I believe they will count. It. They will count it. That's an M1, a three point play there. <laughs> okay, so Caleb, quit blowing on the mic, dude. I, I didn't blow on the mic. That was That's amateur you. wise. We're professionals here. <laughs> you, you obviously blew on the mic. Oh. And Franklin Thornton gets his shot and tapped, and now he taps the player, gets fouled. <laughs> I like how you said that. You said he he taps he ta he got tapped, so he taps the player. Oh wow! So we have Milan Collins at the line for two. And he misses the second. So they find Mayo in the corner. He shoots it, and it's off. And they're looking for the offensive board. AZ Prep hustles for the ball. And the scoreboard is off. That is the game. I repeat, that is the game. The, uh, Let's all go home. Uh, the, oh, that's all she wrote over right then. <laughs> oh, nope, we're back up and running. <laughs> now AC Prep coming down the court. Morel Bell puts up the layup but misses. And now Reeves comes down the other way. He loses his handle, but he keeps it. Passes it over, and now they will reset their offense. Collins is way open in the corner, but nobody finds him. Oh, and the three took it by Anton. Oh, that was almost in there. Yeah, he barely missed it. And now we have another foul. Okay, so we have. We have under half a minute left in this fourth 
third quarter. With 10 seconds, uh, 12 seconds left in the third quarter. <laughs> oh, and the layup is missed, but AC Prep grabs that board. It goes down to the floor. With 4.17. 4.7. Seconds left. Welcome. I, I don't even get a chance to think. I can't even breathe. Well, you misthunk, so I corrected. So now we have 2.7 seconds left uh, in the third quarter. We'll have Isaiah Mayo shooting a free throw. And Collins does not Woo, get the shot that off. That was kind of close. The shot didn't even get off before the buzzer. So even if it made it, it wouldn't have counted. I just want excitement. Can I have excitement? Can you let me at least have that? Uh, that's something you have to ask the players. I'll be back. I'll be right back. So we're coming back in the fourth quarter. The score is 14 to 57. So AC Prep with good ball movement here. And Anton shoots a three. The corner ball is good. That's the first points AC Prep has had in this first. And those are the first points for AC Prep in this uh, fourth quarter here. And AC Prep with the hustle, it gets them the ball back, and now they'll be going down court to try and score again. Yeah. 
And now we have Reeves coming down. He gets fouled. A push. And it will stay. Bleak and prep ball. No, because they are in the bonus, they'll be shooting one and one free throws. Um, we see here that uh, the scorekeepers opt to go for the continuous clock because the the deficit is more than 40. And um, there will be no reason to stop the clock for he's to shot. He's totally correct. I hope he keeps running the clock. And now the score is 17-60. Lincoln Prep is up. Anton, his three is off the mark. And Anton hits both of the free throws there. So now we have a little bit less than four minutes here in this game. The clock is just running out, and the game, is, it's all over but the winding here, really. Cobb shoots the three, and it's good. We see AC Prep here hitting a couple of shots to make this deficit respectable. Did you say respectable? Yes, respectable. And now the score is 24-60. The lead that used to be 40 points is now only See, I wasn't even trying to talk 86. on the mic, but now you're going to make me talk on the mic. <laughs> Why? Hey, I was saying it, that they should never be get beat. That is very disturbing. Nobody wants to hear that on the microphone. Thank you. That's all for tonight. And the second free throw is good. <laughs> David Wright drives. He loses the ball, but he keeps it. Gives it to Smith. Uh, Anton. And the shot is good. And on the fast break, Cobb, he gets fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. A minute 30 left in this game. The clock will just continue to wind down.
<laughs> he misses the first, and he will line up. He'll line up for the second. So we're approaching the last 30 seconds here of the game. We have 20 seconds left. We got 15 seconds left. Okay. 10 seconds left. Five. Three, two, one. And we want to thank you guys for coming out. Well, coming out for all who came out. We want to thank the viewers. We want to thank our broadcasting team. We want to thank Martin Luther King. Caleb, you got something you want to say? Uh, you know, I just would uh, repeat all the people that you thanked, you know. Uh, we had a great uh, showcase of games here tonight. And yeah. I'd also like to thank Omaha for coming out. Uh, and a couple of the other teams that usually don't play at the IL that came out uh, to celebrate uh, Martin Luther King with us. Until next time, KCPS TV. Uh, this is Caleb Brimson. I'm Mari Tatum. And signing out for KCPS TV.